ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Finding Asheville podcast with Nathan Miller. What's one lesson uh, that you've learned since living here or before starting your company that you wish you would have known in the beginning that would have made your life easier? Follow your gut. Follow your instincts and listen to them. Because um, when you're talking with somebody in a business situation, um, I'm, I'm young, I'm, I'm a female, this is my first like foray into business really, um, and you know when you have a bad feeling about working with somebody or you know you feel like somebody's maybe giving you the runaround, like just listen to that and go with another alternative. Always have a backup plan that's stronger than your first plan, mm-hmm. <laughs> and usually like if you have a gut feeling about someone or something, just just go with it because you know, you've got to trust yourself on that. Um, we fall into that trap so many times where we kind of just at the beginning fell in love with a person when we first met them. Yeah. Um, but then we also had this this feeling in our gut that like we shouldn't be working with them, yeah. and we always ended up be, being screwed. So trust me. <laughs> and then the other right. thing that we've learned. Um, is when you're a newbie and you're doing something new for the first time, always work with people that aren't new at what they're doing. Work with people mm-hmm. that are experienced um, because when you have an unexperienced group working with an unexperienced group, um, nobody knows what they're doing. So yeah. it's really good. Like, you know, when we work with JD Media Group to do to help us with the Facebook right. and all that stuff. It's like, they know exactly what they're doing and we follow their lead on that. And mm-hmm. when we work with our photographer, Todd, he's in Chicago and so it costs money to work with him. Um, but he is so good. You know, yeah. he knows, he's done this, he knows exactly what he's it's doing. It's you get what you pay for. Yeah, and like sometimes it, it might be tempting to um, work with somebody that's like, yeah, I think I can do that and I'll give you a good deal. Um, it's like you may end up paying more in the long run to work with somebody that's just trying it out um, yeah. and you may not be satisfied with what comes out at the end. Um, the folks that we worked with on our website, it was their first time working on a website together and that's the only time when I'm so happy that we, you know, those, it was new for them, it was new for us and like the website is gorgeous. I'm so happy. And I think there's like also what we've learned too is you just have to get out there. Like I think when you have this idea and it's like your idea, it's hard for, for you to just like to tell the world about it because yeah, you're kind yeah, of like yeah. afraid that people will be like, oh my gosh, that's like a silly idea. Why are you doing that? But for us, as, as soon as we started like taking this idea outside of ourselves and telling the world about it, really great things happened for them. Like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Let me introduce you to this person. And through those introductions, we were able to build like a really rock solid supply chain. Mm-hmm. But it's also, it's, it's just about being very confident about what you're doing and there are going to be people who are going to be like, that's, that's a silly idea. We get that every day. Yeah. But like, you have to just sort of like block those up people out and know what you're doing is the right thing. Yeah. 